Welcome back cruiser lovers. So here are my numbers and just to go over what I wasn't passing it was the NOX it was at 4.5 as a limit I was at 4.7 no 4.9 changed the EGR valve brought it down to 4.7 still failed that was 50 bucks total in failures and changed the catalytic converters and also did sure pass which is a um, additive to your gas tank and I ran that for half a tank and then put uh, premium gas back in it and it definitely stank that's for show and um, went after that and brought it down to 2.17 so I also noticed that uh, my CO levels actually went way down and my HC levels went down. Uh, let me see if I can show you one that was from a couple years ago. Uh, maybe they, yeah, they did, see? So that's kind of nice uh, to see that those limits went down by quite a bit, actually. So what I advise is that um, if you're having issues with the crews, I would... Uh, change the catalytic converters. I bought them off eBay and uh, I am happy with them. I spent 200 bucks instead of $800 a piece and I also changed out the EGR valve which did help and it needed because it was already getting corroded at the end and there's a video on that. And uh, sure pass. Uh, I think it's probably something I'll run through. Obviously there's probably gunk that gets stuck in your fuel filter and uh, other stuff that's run going to run through your catalytic converter but um, it definitely worked so I'm a fan and uh, I would recommend that you do it as well so that's the follow-up on uh, the catalytic converters and the EGR valve and my emissions testing and my issues and now I can finally get my tags so anyway hope all is well and uh, if you have any questions uh, cool ask them and I'll try to help bye